if, if everybody's ready, OD can start the festivities <laughs> by uh, catching everybody up to what the hell's going on in this stupid game. In this stupid game, since last time, uh, what do we? So we, yeah, we got all our magic items. We put on all our stuff. We we're all looking rather pleased with ourselves because we killed the dragon. We're like onwards. And so we kept heading south because we believe that's our best way out of this uh, bloody forest. And I believe it was Cohen Zoga that was scouting ahead. Off they went and uh, they came back and they were like, hmm, we got a little bit of a problem. Oh, like, well, what's that? Because, well, we're going into, uh, oh, is it Red Skull? Red Skull territory. Blood Skull. Uh, Blood Skull, close. Red Blood uh and a few of us are like hmm you know we've uh we've uh tackled a lot worse in this forest and zoga's like well this lot are a little bit different they're um oh they worship what's his name yagrod is that right yeah yon Yon rod whip yagrod yagrod the whip and they uh they're very thirsty for blood um to uh to uh, uh give to their god um, but we're kind of like, well, still we're a bit, I mean, you know, Ari. And um, Zoga's like, look, you know, I don't think it's a good idea. These, these are tough. It's going to be difficult to get through. And so we're thinking, well, what if we go round them? And then Zoga's like, well, that's probably going to be, you know, who knows? I don't know how big their territory is. That could be like 10 days till we go round them. But it's definitely only three days south. And at that point... Uh, I think the village... What's her name again? Demelza. Demelza. Right? Yeah, Demelza. That's Demelza. Right. Demel, Demelza's over with us. And she's like, you know, this lot, they can't do another 10 days in this forest. And so they're, they're just not going to get through. So we're like, okay. All right. So we kind of had a little bit of a get together. We go, we've got a cunning plan. If you watch Blackadder. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, we're going to basically go back, take the villages all the way back to the dragon's lair and they'll be safe there there's a dragon and you know it'll still smell dragony so surely no one will attack them there. there's a cave for them to hide in and uh we'll then go into the uh blood skull area and kind of go bit by bit and kind of work out a route through and sneak our way through and see what the deal is so we take the villagers back and uh we set them all up we kind of pose the dragon so it looks like it's asleep in front of the cave to kind of protect them a bit more once the kids have stopped playing on it uh a few of us rubbed ourselves in dragon poo um just for a fun, few? I think. I, don't, I, feel, oh, well, I think I rubbed a bit on, and I definitely, uh, I Lavelle. Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Lavellis was definitely doing a bit of poo rubbing. So <laughs> there's, a, there's a bit of that. There's a bit of that going on. The villagers were a bit wary to see us go, um, but I mean, we kind of had to convince a few of them, a few of them, to go in the first place. But we got them there. And they know that we know where they're going to hang out, and we're kind of like, okay, let's let's go. And then we have a little search around. Like, hang on. There's a uh, pop goblin stuff here. Right? This is this looks like stuff that the uh, blood skulls wear. So we kind of put on their armor and their stuff to try and disguise ourselves, and we potter off um, back into the um, back into their territory. And we're kind of getting through. And unfortunately, uh, Savannasaur's uh, armor was a little ill-fitting and he tripped over his breeches and made a, a, a rather loud clanging noise which has alerted I believe it was a hobgoblin beastmaster and some scorpions and some other and they know basically I fucked up I made a loud noise they know we're here mm. that's where we are Ta-da. Oh, fair enough yeah uh, you guys are on the um, northern side which uh, on this map is the bottom you guys are on the northern side of a defile, which is an old riverbed. And you can see there are a couple of blood skull hobgoblins to the south of you on the other side of the riverbed. And you are aware that there are some that you cannot see. You've heard them. Right, that's right. We could hear them, couldn't we? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And the one of them, the hobgoblin, the blood skull beastmaster, has a, is, has a leash and or two leashes and at the end of each leash is like a greyhound sized uh scorion which is like a scorpion dog grasshopper hybrid and so it's it is initiative we have already rolled 
Oh, yeah. So okay. you, mm-hmm. open up, you can open up the combat tracker and you can see whatever how what, how you guys did. <laughs> combat and, tracker. Looks like Ko is up first. Yeah. So if you guys want to um, spend some time talking about like strategery before you go, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Or Ko can just act or Ko can hold his action and wait to see what the blood skull do. Yeah, I was about to ask you about that because they seem really far away and I don't I don't doubt that I could get to them. I just don't know that I'd, I would have to use my action point and then I don't think I'd be able to do much when I do reach them unless I get very lucky on my roll. Um, so part of me wants to draw them out and the fact that there's no people to be eaten by a giant spider other than us makes sense seem like a better strategy than the last time I tried that. I do <laughs> wonder though, like we know we heard like some others nearby. Is there a way of us, I mean, I know we're technically in combat, but could we like tell like, we like, like those noises are a lot closer than the ones we can see? Um, not a lot closer. They, they're coming from the same general area. Right, so maybe they're like hiding in that, in those trees over the other side. So, uh, I do want to get ambushed, like they come out behind us or jump out of those trees, but maybe not. What's the justice? Uh, So, if I remember correctly, DM, was it only one of us who was seen? Uh, I don't. (laughs) I don't know that they've seen any of you. They just know that there is a group of you in the bushes to the south. And they, they maybe they've seen Matt Driscoll, or I should say Cervanazor. Yeah, maybe mm. we should get someone to just sort of poke their nose out there and- Nose, they're snouts, kind of right? So it's suggested. Fane being, yeah, uh, but, fane possibly, being caught unawares in Blood yeah. Skull territory. Get them Poss- to come to us, you know? Possibly yeah. even our only stealthy person who happens to be first in initiative order. Oh, I was going to say the person with the longest nose or perhaps the most, the most kind of like ears should be the one. The most alligatory, the longest, most alligatory, snouty reptilian nose. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, the one with a, my guess. the one with a happy sufficitude of ears. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I was happy while we were sticking to alligator faces. <laughs> and send, so. uh, we can send Vanazor out there. He's covered in dragon shit. And he looks like a dragon, so maybe they'll think he's the dragon's baby. And they'll freak <laughs> out. And, run and away. I could, I could shout them in draconic. Yes, that will work. Perfect. Then they'll, they'll run away, and we won't have to battle them. We'll just go through this forest. We'll save the villagers, and we'll be the best D players ever. Yeah. <laughs> well, so here's the thing: if they run away, they're probably just going to go get reinforcements and come back. Yeah. I feel That's like they just true. gotta kill them. Uh, I have an idea, but it depends on how stealthiness works. Mm-hmm. We were trying to capture one of these, right? Like we were going to oh, capture them yeah. and interrogate them. Yeah, yeah, I know it's been a while. Um, could could we like you know classic movie moment <coughs> where we lure them to an area and we're in a bush and like we really quick grab that person, like pull them in without somebody <laughs> noticing. You know, like when somebody steals a guard's clothes in like a spy movie. Like, so I'm basically the bait. I'll be like, yeah, fumbling around. Maybe I can pretend I'm injured. But like I've been caught in a trap or something. I wonder if they lay traps, these pop goblins. Ooh. Well, they'll Ooh. know where they lay. They would know where they lay them, though. Right. Well, maybe they don't. I don't know. I'll just <laughs> pretend to be injured. Like, that's what they heard. I took a tumble. I took a tumble. <laughs> well, the, the problem is that I'll you... my life alert. There's a whole bunch of... Even though you got an 18 for your initiative, there's like six people that go before you. Five people. So, oh, I see. Yes, we're in combat. Yeah, of course. Whoops. Yeah. We, were, we were trying to uh, strategize. Yeah, your strategy, what, what whatever your strategy is, it combat. needs to, yeah, it needs to take into consideration the fact that, like, they know you're, they know that there's people in the bush with you. They don't know how many of them. And maybe some of them have made perception checks and can see, you know, the light glinting off Cervanazor's brilliant plate. But whether they can see all of you, you're not sure. All right. Yes. Maybe Ko should throw Cervanazor out into the middle of the riverbed. What the fuck? 
<laughs> well, it's sacrifice. Uh, let's see what happens. No, I, I like the idea of it's like, your action. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to keep talking, yeah. that's fine. What are you uh, gonna say, Tom? If, if we can lure them out of the bush, you know, then if we can act, like get them to kind of come investigate this noise, or like if if Co just goes out there and like taunts them, maybe maybe they'll maybe they'll they'll see a singular dude as like an easy target and come to try and get some blood for old Yonrog, and then we can bust out of our bush and. Ambush their ambush. Mm-hmm. Mm. I do like the uh, yeah. I do like that a little bit. Like still doing a little element of surprise. Yeah, we should. I'm I'm down for having them get them closer to us because right now they're like twenty or they're like about twenty squares away, which is a lot of distance to cover. It's about hundred feet. And also yeah. puts it puts us also out in the open if we're gonna walk out into the riverbed, which I'm kind of loath to do. And from what we can see of these, of the ones that we can see, do they appear to be like, are they carrying swords and stuff like that? Like melee kind of weapons? Do they appear to have any like ranged weapons? Well, the Beastmaster that you can see um, has, is, it has weapons, but it looks like he's mostly just, he's got a, he's got a whip. Yeah, he's got a whip and he's got like um, a, 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 like a cattle prod. <laughs> And the, then the, uh, the, the soldier, soldier, I'm assuming. The soldier mm-hmm. does not appear to have any ranged weapons. Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, in that so, case, I feel like get them close. Yeah, I need them in at least 10 squares. And, like, if we decide to just rush in and fight, I can do it with an action point. But if we're going to wait for them to come closer, that's the dream. Yeah, could I, like, um, jump into this tree to our left? Like, could I... Did I like? I don't know. Like, make well, that, it, yeah. <laughs> like stealthy that, jump. <laughs> that that tree. So you guys are in. Um, you're. You guys have cover from this. Uh, these bushes that you're in, and that tree to your left overhangs those bushes. So you <clears> could. You could go if you were. You know, like here, you could go straight from there up into the tree without having to jump. Because obviously, if you jump, they're going to see you. Yeah, that's what I want, though. But you could do I'd it under, like to you be do farther it away from there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, I want to lure them, and I know that the moment I move, I've lost my turn. So a part of that is there. Sorry you for can, the delay on this. But. You can. You have a couple of options. You can act. Obviously, you can um, give up. I think your movement to ready an action with a trigger. Right. So if X happens, then I'm going to blank. And uh, that gives mm-hmm. you, but but all you get to do is you get to take an action, right? You don't get your entire full range of options. Yeah. You can't move, or you can just delay. And if you delay, that you're saying I'm, I'm literally not going to do anything until after someone else goes, and it's up to you who you delay until. But it does that does not let you interrupt until, somebody. Uh, if you want to interrupt somebody, that requires um, readying an action. Ready action. Okay, I'd like to delay until after. You don't have to say. Uh, if you're gonna delay, oh, okay. if, you're, if you're gonna delay, you're just saying I'm just gonna wait, and then it's okay, then I it's wait. up to you to say, wait, I'm jumping in now, right? Because there's okay, no there's no and and you get away. you get your entire movement. I mean, I should say you get your entire turn. You get your normal move action. You get your normal standard action, but it does not interrupt. It comes after somebody else's thing. So Co is okay. delaying. In fact, what I'm gonna do, Co, is that, uh, is is that four E thing, or can you do that in five E? Um, you know, bro, I don't fucking know. Anymore. You can you can do something like Fair it enough. in 5e. It doesn't work mechanically the same way, but you can do gotcha. something like it. Yeah. I'm not even sure what I told you just now is fourth edition. That might be third edition, but it's a it's Whatever, a it very cool. it's a very sensible rule. It doesn't really matter what <laughs> it doesn't even really matter what RPG you're playing. The difference between readying an action and delaying is tactically useful to me as a dungeon master and a player and so those are the house rules i use even though there's some edition of DD where those aren't house rules those are the real rules i just don't remember which one is might be this yeah. one. so now also uh, yeah hmm? oh i was th- gonna say just um keep in mind that Orin's thing like she's like a grabber yeah. so if any of them get close enough She's got the ability to like grab and then like drag them into the bushes with us and all kinds of things like that, as well as like mark them so that way they get penalties to their attacks. 
So there's uh, definitely some stuff I can do if we can get him close enough. Like shadow elves from other dimensions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the ultimate grab. Hopefully they're napping. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh-oh. It's a Blood Skull soldier's turn. Da -da -da -da. <gasps> da -da. Hmm. Love Alice. You see a Blood Skull. You see a Blood Skull um, soldier. And uh, he's wearing, I think he's got like scale mail on. He's got a flail. He's wearing, yeah, I was right. He's got scale armor. He's got a shield. He's um, pretty heavily armored. And he's standing at the edge of the dry riverbed. And he's just like peering out. He's like looking basically exactly where you guys are. And, mm -hmm. but he doesn't seem to be tracking you, Lavellis. Mm -hmm. Maybe he can see OD. It's not clear. I'm not. Um, Okay, so just to clarify, the plan is to let them get real close and just grab one of them? Well, like, just FYI, I put... like at least one Blood Skull's already gone, and he only moved 15 feet, and now he's kind of watching you guys. Yeah, it's like he got yeah. to a better position. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's um, why I send this. Yeah. So, so squad, team, Waterhead, unite. Waterhead. Um... <laughs> So, so do we want them to come all the way over, and we're just going to grab one, and kill the rest? I'm done. Is that what the plan that. is? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm done for that. I don't know if that's what everybody else had in mind. Whatever we do, we should be careful that none of them get away. Yeah, because um, so I think my most helpful thing right now, I mean, depending on what their defenses end up being like, because you know I don't know yet. I'm assuming they might have high foot. I don't know. Um, so some of Briaris is going to be able to slow them, which can be useful for, you know, bottlenecking them and making sure we don't have to take, to take on everyone at once or could be useful for stopping them from running away. But the plan for I, – I was planning to um, – to, what, what did you just call it, Matt? You called it um, – um, readying an action. Yeah. I was going to ready some of Briaris, but I'm trying to decide what the trigger is. So, like, do I let it be when they're within five squares or six squares? Or it's up to you. You can. It's um, pretty much anything that is discreet, right? So you can say, "I'm going to ready this action for if any enemy gets within thirty feet of us, or twenty five feet of us, or it's up to you." Right, right. But I just, then, I just wonder whether the squad had like specific ideas as to whether they would prefer me use that to stop them from getting away, or stop them from coming too close, or whatnot. Um. But I assume we're, we're just we're just going to kill most of them, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Great. I think. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Let's get it. Let's get them. Then what I would love to do is so you can take an action and ready an action. Did you say or what was no, it? No, no. If you to, to, in order to ready an action, you give up your movement. You give up your movement. You give up well. your movement okay. and you say, if X happens, I'm going to do Y. And okay, great. then when that happens, you get to interrupt that with an action. And now that action could be I'm gonna I'm gonna move, right? Because the way fourth edition works, you get your movement and you get a move action and you get a standard action, uh, and, you okay, get, cool. and you get a minor action. So you give up your movement, Easy. and then you get a standard action and a minor action. Easy as. Um, could I ready my son of Briaris for if two of them or more come within five squares of us? Sure. Okay, great. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Just you just gotta. It's up to. It's just up to you to 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 yeah. track that because I'll forget. Right. Yeah. No worries. All right. So Lavellus has ready an action. Um, Oren. No, if we kill you first, I just saw that. <laughs> that may have been. Uh, that may have been me talking. <laughs> that was me. That was me speaking in the voice of the Blood Skull Beastmaster. He didn't actually say uh -huh. that. Um. You see. So I'm looking at my. Um, power, which is called forceful drag. Mm. It says it's a. Um, it says it's a move power, and the effect is that you move your speed for each square you move. You slide a creature grabbed by you one square to a square adjacent to you. The creature remains grabbed, and you do not provoke an opportunity attack from the grabbed creature for this movement. At the end of the move, you can end the grab to knock the creature prone. I'm assuming, based on how this is written, that I need to first grab the creature and then I can use forceful drag to like pull them with me. It says uh, you slide. Yeah, a you have to have a grabbed creature to do that. Yes. 
I see. Right, so okay. you, you move your speed for each square you move, you slide a creature grab by you. So basically you just drag someone with you. Um, they remain grabbed. You don't provoke an up. Yep. Yeah. At the end of the move, you can end the grab and knock them prone. Yeah. So it's, yeah, basically what it says on the tin, drag somebody, yeah, but you have to have them grabbed. Uh, it's gonna so a forceful drag them. is kind of a good one-two punch with your grappling strike, probably, right? Yeah, you, that's kind of what I'm looking at, yeah. too. I just think it's going to be a little bit before they actually get close enough for me to use that if I'm trying to stay in the bushes. Um, so I'm wondering... Um, I've got my sling. I got my slingshot, but they're still too far away for me to even use that. So I think the ready to action I'd like to take is... If one of the, if one of the, nah, don't I do both blood skulls? I think if one of the enemies, like one of the blood skulls get within 10 spaces of me, okay. I'd like to go ahead and use my, I'd like to try and uh, shoot them with a, a pebble for my slingshot. Cool. Um, that way I can mark them nice. and they'll get a penalty if they try to attack anybody else and also if they're still kind of like being hesitant with like coming forward and everything that might be enough to stir them up to get them to come come towards us faster and then i can do my other stuff so that'll be my turn i'm just ready don't forget you can drag the button at the bottom of the combat tracker for next turn down to a hotkey if you want and then you can just press the button for the hotkey that's right. I forgot it was there. I put it there last time. I wonder if I should... Like, that first guy that went, the Blood Skull, he just kind of, it looks like he just basically got into a better position to kind of work out what's going on down there. Um, I wonder if I should, like... What do you think? Should I reveal myself a little bit? Try and lure him over? Oh, blimey. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll just poke something out of the... <laughs> Your tail just flicks out. Yes, yeah, my little... tail. That's exactly sure. what I was thinking. <laughs> your tr- your, uh, not, not, not your truncheon? No, definitely not my truncheon. Oh, so, that was where we used to play just Whitehall. You're just it? talking about playing Whitehall. Yep. It's a good game, His by the way. His trouser snout. I, you, that was just you me. went too far. I remember in that. <laughs> Yeah, well, oh, no, I did it. Yeah, that's, 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 I'm, a, I'm offended. How dare you in this company? <laughs> uh, what do you think? I mean, I, I, I know I'm in combat, but I'm kind of still talking to the group. Uh, I don't, that's fine. I don't care. I, I don't mind. I know that there are. I, I was really surprised when we started streaming the chain how just talking about what are what, what's our plan? What are we going to do? And speaking, doing it out of character really upset some people for some reason. But I'm like, how the fuck else are you going to do this? Right. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just kind of like uh, go a couple of squares out, flail around, and maybe just pop back in. Or, or I could go over to the <laughs> blimey. <laughs> just a world of innuendo yeah. today. Because uh, I don't know, like, it looks like they're waiting to see something else before they come over. It's not like they were like, charge. It was more like he was inquisitive. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it can't hurt, right? Well, I mean, it can, but you should still do it. <laughs> okay, cool. So what's it can't hurt. Movement? You, mean, you mean it can't hurt me, Oren? <laughs> right. Yeah, it, it, it will probably hurt you quite a lot, but not me. <laughs> well, yeah, they're going to stick their scorpions on you. I'm thinking about coming back into this same uh, bush. <laughs> well, don't, <laughs> don't. Oh, fuck. Never mind. I can't even say what I was going to say. <laughs> That's right. No, you what can't. You cannot It'll be taken it. the wrong way. You cannot say it. It not, definitely won't be. What are you going to say, Anna? <laughs> I was going to say, oh God. don't come back in behind me, which is where you currently are. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Can we just play this game? <laughs> I've changed our mind. We're just going to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I could go to a different location, yes, but just back into this area of hiddenness. Sure. By the way, if you guys okay. um, if you guys want to rearrange your mans, uh, your tokens, while being in that bush, that's fine. I don't care. Okay. Um, I think I basically right. dropped you here. I don't think you guys picked your locations, but you guys are in this bush. Okay, so here we go. One, two. I kind of pop out and flail around a bit. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe I'll shout something in Draconic that I'm hurt. Hey, that um, might make me think I'm an easy target. Hey, Servanas. Yes. Do me a favor. Yes. No. Uh, make a deception check. Okay. Uh, Doesn't I mean he looks helpless, doesn't he? Actually, I guess there is a deception. Disguise. What is deception? What, what is? is I don't know. I have bluff. Uh, make bluff. a bluff. Make a bluff check. Uh, in the tower, yeah. Uh, it does. It's uh, no. You don't have to. Well, you can I did do it. In you the can tower. arrive. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Well, I'm, Nobody speaks Hobbish, right? And I'm, they speak Goblin. Uh, Hobbish. Yeah. Gobbish. They speak. Yeah, they speak Gobbish. So, um, Oren, Lavellis Co., and Zoga, uh, you see Matt, you, you see Servanazor quite uh, theatrically m- make uh, this motion. He stumbles, he quote unquote stumbles out of the bush and is, is he's a really, really bad actor. Oh no. <laughs> and it's quite obvious that he's playing. To, he's playing to a crowd, yeah. I am Little dragon. <laughs> oh, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> Alas, poor Savannasaur. I knew him so well. Um, Incredible. The hobgoblins are like, Aru? Like, you know, like, you know, like a German shepherd tilts his head left and right trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Uh, all right. And, and then uh, I pop back in. Okay. And that's I'm going to end it there. So okay, that was, that was big. Why did the why did it jump? Huh? That's un, unusual. Okay. Um, what happened? I pressed the end turn complete button. Yeah, that's fine. For some reason, it skipped. It skipped somebody, and I don't know why. But that's I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. Uh, let me make sure this dude doesn't have anything cool. Nope. Um, I'm going to give him minus two because you're in a bush. Uh. Wow. Wow. Yep. So you all see from, uh, from like what? over here somewhere, huh. you see an arrow, oh, you, no. you see an arrow oh, go up into the air and it arcs this perfect parabolic arc and goes unerringly goes and smacks into Cervanazor's uh, collarbone right right at the edge of where his armor protects him and uh, Cervanazor you take max damage 15 oh, hit points Jesus. 15? yep yikes Bloody oh, hell. Right. max damage I think I'd like to act now <laughs> uh, okay that's <laughs> Uh, I need to change my hit points tonight. 20, so 14. What do you say? No, no, no. It, it happens I... automatically. Oh. Yeah, see? Damage to 15 to Cervanazor. You don't have to fucking... What are you talking about? So wait, are you oh. saying that there's like a thing... Whoop, whoop. Are you saying there's a... Oh, yeah. Wounds. Yeah, 15. a thing like yeah, right sorry. here? Man, yeah, like when the bushes are landing in the bushes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anna. I uh, was in the middle of deleting my pointer and I accidentally deleted all of them. Uh, but yes... Yeah, there's somebody in that bush that you can't see. Okay. With the bow. Well, ouch. And what do you want to do now, Co? I'd like to attack. Uh, here, I'll so set I your take initiative my turn. to... I'm going to set your initiative to 15, so that you go right after this dude who just went. There you go. And I'm just, this guy's done, so it's your turn. All right. So I'm going to, so if I run, I can move uh, two extra squares, right? That sounds familiar. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to use my other, uh, 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 my, my movement. I'm, I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to use my action to move and then I'm going to do my Seamurg's wings. Uh, so that will give me my plus five to my athletics for my flying jump. I get to roll twice. Wow! And take You're the higher. Probably not higher. Gonna be better than that. <laughs> well, you gotta believe. Crit jump. Do I it. believe I can jump. Yep, you yeah. did. You did oh do better. Oh my gosh! You did do better. You rolled an eighteen and a nineteen. Jeez. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, 
six. Here, let me. Um... All right, where's this bastard? When I'm leaping in the air, can I see them as I'm coming into the bush? Yeah, absolutely, you can. Yeah, you can see there's as from from 15 feet in the air as you sail up over and out, sort of making a co-scale arc of your own through the air, much like the so the arrow goes out. And Ko goes in. And as you sail up into the air, you can see um, there is a hobgoblin archer that is right where it looks like where you're going to land. All right, wonderful. So I yell, which means eat my cudgel. Uh, and I would like to open the gates of battle. On that them. sounds good to me. So you've, right, you've uh, jumped, I'll... what's your move action? And this is this your standard action? You can't land exactly there because there's a dude there. Okay, and then I can land there here. Yeah. Oh, now I see them. Hello. <laughs> this is Who's weird. That? This right, is really I weird. Control click to target. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I would like to... Oops. Oh, since I also moved, I'm going to use this this free power, this daily free action. Make sure it's the right one. Ah, if I move at least half my speed during this turn, I get a plus two to all defenses until the end of my next turn. Look at that. Yeah, that it. looks good to me. Okay. Yeah. That sounds wise. Yeah, considering <laughs> you just jumped into a, 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 a metaphorical nest of hobgoblins, yeah. Yeah, well, thank you for the long rest because that changed everything. Um, so instead of doing my open the gates of battle, I'm going to do gonna my close stinging the gates command. Of <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, well, yeah, I'll close them temporarily. Uh, I'm going to do my stinging manticore remove, m maneuver, which means I get to move another six and I get to attack every person I move adjacent to during this, which means I think I can get everybody. Whoa. Because I'm going to go one, oh, this is a daily two, power. four, five. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five. And oh, I think shit. I'll stay here at the end. Okay, yeah. Wow. Holy shit. This yeah, is awesome. Crazy. This is awesome. Yep. Oh That's my god. Nuts. He attacks all of them. <laughs> I saw some bad rolls. Oh, crap. I saw some good rolls. Oh. Shit. Okay, I don't have to do anything. You critted somebody. <laughs> wow. Damn. Bloody, bloodied. Yikes. Right. Hey, then we get to do some other things. Um, yeah. What? You haven't killed any of them, but you bloodied. Uh, I think you bloodied both of the Scorions. And. Um, and um, the oh yeah, the archer and uh, is still a, is not bloody, but close. And you missed a couple. Well, that of was like, that was ridiculously cool. That was yeah. Yeah. You missed the beastmaster. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty awesome. Okay. I would like to. So what, now your I get reflex to do bonuses. My, I think I get to do my flurry of blows. I just want to make sure I do the right one. Well, now you just did right. Right. Is a flurry of blows like a reaction? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it's a free and it's triggers. I hit with an attack during my turn. Yep. yep. Okay, so I flurry against that one. Yep. And it now is very thingy. badly. Its carapace is cracked and it's disoriented and it's losing its its heroic zeal for battle. And then I'd like to use my situational property for my armor, which is. I can use my flurry of blows power an additional time during my turn. Oh, but the shit. Two, it, says, it says, but the two uses of that power must be triggered by two different attacks that you make with this key focus. I don't understand that, though. I think that means that with since I did two attacks with my manticore remover, that means I can do it. I think so, too. That's how I interpret it. Uh, it's this, this is from your um, mechanical fly that you've, that you've caught. Uh, you can use your flurry yes. blows power an additional time during your turn. That's what you want to do. But the two uses of that power must be triggered by two different attacks that you make with this key focus. I think all of your attacks are going to be using your focus. Um, so Good deal. Which one should I punch, y'all? It, it, just, it, just it just can't be Skorion number one. Because that's, oh, okay. that's the one you flurry of blows um, already. All right, get out. You hit the soldier, soldier, right? Yeah. I think since this targets a different oh, person, like to, um... than the triggering attack, I can do my bigger flurries on this one. So it whack. Yeah. And then I'd like to do one more thing. <laughs> I would like to use my supreme flurry <laughs> daily power. So I use my flurry blows power, and I resolve the effects of the power that triggered it. 
then I sh- that that's the trigger. Yep. So I just did that. Yep. So I shift half my speed and I use my flurry of blows power again. Totally legal. Holy crap! Yep. Wow. Oh, holy crap! Okay, so I'm, I'm tempted to shift back into the bushes and punch this guy in the face. Uh, <laughs> just yep. make this character yourself. It's so good. <laughs> It's like, this is not what I want to do. Well, I mean, the right person should be punching everyone. He's using two (laughs) of his um, daily powers. He's using his item power. Yeah. He's going all out. He used his 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 action point. Did you use your action point? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's he's going Nova. Yeah. Are we supposed to to have two daily powers? Sergus just like, oh, okay. Well, we'll just sick Ko on the blood skulls. We'll be fine. I have no idea how how Ko has Supreme Flurry and Stinging Magic Ore Maneuver, but I presume it's legal. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I was just wondering if I needed to have another one. Uh, Supreme one Flurry is his, was the utility power he took at second level. Yes. So you should have, Anna, you should have a second level utility power. It just might not be a daily power. It might be an encounter mm, power. I see. It's probably an encounter power. Also not a daily power from the magic stuff we found. Um, so I've got a rule I'm going to throw at you guys. That you're not gonna like, but that's the way the game works. Uh, and that is, if you have daily, if you uh, if you have multiple magic items that give you powers, you can only use one of them per encounter. Mm-hmm. I think it might even be one per day. I don't remember. But right now, I don't think you guys have to worry about that. You don't have that many items. Uh, so, yep, that guy okay, is dead. So I, I shifted over yes. here, and then I I punched yeah that scorpion in the face, and yep. then I would like to end my turn. I'd like I'd like you not to end your turn. Well, uh, it's not gonna. <laughs> yeah, so that's. I mean, there we go. That so, was cool. That was awesome. Great job. Yeah, Thank we're you. just gonna stand this bush and watch you kill these hobgoblins. So let's yeah, this is well, more exciting. Probably about to get totally annihilated. <laughs> no, no, that, that would, you're gonna get totally a- annihilated. Um, wow, bro. Let me make sure that's grind. Oh, weird when it's gonna do. have a. Scorpion golden retriever fly at your face. Golden retriever. <laughs> golden retriever. Said, oh, I guess he said greyhound size, didn't he? Oh, I see. Yes. Are we still taking one of these alive? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Go, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what that interrogation would get us anyway, besides an earful right. about Yon Rog. Fuck. Right, young rug and blood. Miss. <laughs> Take that cold. Unfortunate. So oh, I'm this guy so is upset. going to move. I guess he's not, because I guess I don't have my thumb lock turned on. And then this guy is going to go like that. This guy is going to... Let me make sure this guy is going to... Okay, he already used his at will. The scorpion is going to target Ko. So I guess that guy's done. Let me make sure. Let me keep this thing open just in case. And this guy's gonna target Ko. And, uh, Nert. Uh, the uh. scorpion, the scorpion, got this, this, <laughs> this, uh, scorpion grasshopper thing on a leash from the Beastmaster scuttles forward and click clack attacks you with its claws. Um, you are. Grabbed. You have you can escape, I believe, on your turn. Um, <laughs> it does damage. Nert. And uh, when it does that, uh, the beast master kind of like in in goblin, it appears to exhort the its pet, and uh, the pet is like proud that it did its master good, and now it gets a it, it seems to be a little bit more kind of like chuffed a little bit ha- the, the the pet scorpion is like yeah i'm a good scorpion i'm a good scorpion um and i believe that is it for those guys it's zoga all right here's what i'm gonna do one oop, oop. kill the rest of them wrong three. thing <laughs> two three four five one two three four Five, and then I'm gonna use my action point. Ba boom. And then one. Try not two. to put yourself right in the middle of them, or I might hit you with a power. 
But <laughs> uh. <laughs> unless you're fine with that, I mean. <laughs> again. She might, again. She might hit you with the power again. I could really mm. drop the word might from the sentence. Um. Well, I mean, I'm just like, I'm just charging across this riverbed. So uh, unless you're shouting this at me. Yeah, I mean, do what you gotta do. It's too late. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to charge boop, 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 this uh, Scryon. Ooh. Oh. Boop. Mm. Well, we just saw some guy yeah, pop out there. Uh, what if instead we could see them? <laughs> Bulger one. Bugger. Okay. Yep. And he gets this because he's a phalanx soldier. No, oh, he's going to do this. So he's going to target you. This uh, uh. the Blood Skull Hobgoblin. Remember these guys? They've they have they have uh, shaved not only the hair off oh, this yeah. a, a stripe of hair off the center of their skulls. They keep shaving and they peel off their own flesh until their skull is exposed and bleeding. And then they cover it in this um, antibiotic tree resin that's transparent, so you can see their bleeding skulls. And uh, this dude. Uh, moves forward purposefully. It's metal, oh yeah. And um, he's gonna try to attack Zoga. And he's gonna miss. That was easy. All right. And then this guy is gonna go one, one, two. Oh, no, hang on a minute. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Oh. I guess five. And he's going to do the same thing. He's going to target Zoga. And actually, he's going to use... Um, oh yeah, he gets plus two AC because he's next to a hobgoblin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he's going to try to flail. He's got a flail. He's got a stick with a chain and a, and a spiked ball at the end of it. Actually, a, fla- a flail. I don't think that's what a flail is. Uh, it doesn't matter. And he missed. So you guys are doing fine. These hobgoblins suck. Yes. There's a reason they're on patrol duty, and it's not because they're super awesome. Lavellus, there's a crazy fucking skirmish happening in that bush over there. There sure is. Now, let me see if I've counted these squares out properly. So, uh, I really hope I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think my movement is six. Let me double check. My movement is... Six. Okay. Um, I would love to use my standard action to... How do I get out of here? Get out of here. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let me count some squares. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, great. Um, and then I'm going to use my uh, action point also. Bing. Um, two. <laughs> And, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's say I use that action point to do my standard action before. Do yeah, I still have a minor action? I mean, you, I, as far as I can tell, all you've done is move so far, correct? Uh, I, I moved and then I moved again. Um, but do I still have a minor action in sure. the mix? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay, great. Cool. Because I would love to use Meliora's summons to pull uh, Zoga and Co. I apologize. Three squares. Oh, interesting. So uh, three squares, you pull them, three squares pull is a specific uh, keyword that means directly toward you. So Zogra goes one, so, yeah. two, three. Ko goes one, two, three. You feel... Awesome. Uh, so uh, uh, Lavellus, how would you describe what we just saw? At the last time I used it, I described it as this sort of ringing tone, this sort of musical tone that they just can't help but like stumble back towards but I don't know if that works when they're stumbling through enemies <laughs> uh, I don't think it matters well actually I mean it's fairly faint maybe they dance around them who knows like each one of them I, you know Ko was up here right uh, he yeah. could have gone one two he could have done that right? okay, he could have cool, moved, cool. moved around them that's no problem cool 
Yeah. So anyway, it's like it's like this this it's like a call. It's like a singing call that you you can't help but move towards. You're drawn towards it. Um, and then I would like to, I guess, my action point thing now, um, in order to use Gwynagad's verdict. Oh, Jesus, what's that? Um, yeah. It's my new thing that I can do. Let me see. What button do you press in order to target people? It's been a long time. I believe it's okay. just a control click. It might be a shift yes, click. Indeed. I can do, I get okay. confused. So this is yeah, the bursty one. So I'll do that mm. and I'll move that here. Ping. Oh. And then. Nice. That's wow. Target. Whoa. Target. Stop Ooh. it. Stop target. targeting my guys. Target. No, no. Kill them. All right. Get Great. Them. And then. <laughs> Quinn um, verdict. That's that sounds fucking cool as shit. Yeah, Gwynagad, the Summer King. I can't wait Storm to see Storm Marshal. <laughs> Archon. Master of the Nine Courts. Um, anyway, let me see. Uh, each creative, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now I have to make my attack. So that's this button. Well, I see a 20. I see a 20 in the mix. Yep. Oh, you, nice. you critted um, the archer, it looks like. Neato. <laughs> okay. I hate, a, I hate a archer. Crit. Nice. Don't forget um, plus one damage per enemy targeted. Yeah, I've got that written there because I kept forgetting to do it in the early days. So, I mean, I don't know how to add that. Do, does the modifier work for damage rolls? Yep, it'll work for whatever your next roll is. Okay, so per, so that plus four, right? Uh, that's for what it looks like, yeah, yeah. Great, okay. And then if I click this, hopefully oh, it added the plus four. Did that work? I hope that worked. Uh, and they- You got the scorpion. Scorpion, yeah, damage 11 to Scorpion 1. Partially resisted, partially absorbed, status dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's dry, beautiful. Like partially Re- dying. Resist That's beautiful. That. Um, and then they also get minuses to their defenses for the next round equal to my con modifier. So. What the? Dick. Minus three. Pew, 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 pew. So everyone hit them this round because it'll be good. <laughs> Because right. it'll be good. I'm done. Uh, and that's Gwynagad's verdict. That's a new one. This one is like straight up lightning. It's like like a blast of lightning comes out from my hands and it arcs around my allies, hits the, the closest of the bad guys and just springs off uh, hitting the other ones through like electrical branching. That's fucking cool. So uh, I think I'm just going to use double move. Just move which move. is... Yeah. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so my my turn's over. Okay, okay no. Sir Vanazor, oh, the curse, oh, the curse of the melee hero. In a scenario like this, you just gotta fucking hump it. Savannah saw is somewhat <laughs> embarrassed about it. You have to what now? His is uh. Sorry, that just means it means just walk, run. Uh huh. Usually with uh, a usually with a pack on your back, I think it's like an infantry slang. Take the fastest route. Or the or the Six fastest route. The <laughs> sixteen squares to get to him. And yeah, I think I can do this, right? Because my movement's six. And then I can then charge. And at the end of the charge, well, soldier or archer. Uh, So if I get to that square. When I was in in AD&D, when I played a paladin, you always want to find the best item for the paladin was wings of flying. Because then then you were the ranged attack. Just fly your ass across the battlefield. Oh, but I can't do that because I'd be charging. I can only do a howling strike. That's fine. Okay. Uh, b- 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 yeah, you have you have okay. powers. Always be charging. You have special powers you can yep. use on a charge, right? So, b- 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 big. That all right? I'm gonna get in your ways over. You right with that? Can you get that far? <laughs> yeah. If I charge at the end, so I've charged. I've done two moves. Yeah. And then I've charged. You got to use your okay. action point for that. Correct. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, and at the end of my charge, I can use Howling Strike. Correct. Because I'm charging. So I'm going to use that on this chap. Did I target him? No. 
So Vandal's yeah. already. Yep. There you go. Now you have him targeted. Yeah. And Houndin Strike is. God, look at all those um, buffs on you. That one. Go. Be good. Oh, that's going to hit. That's going to hit. Good, good, good. All right. Rolling damage now. Aha. Okay, yep, that guy's dying. Dead. <laughs> Let me make sure oh, he's not wait dying a minute. By like one. Oh. Oh, wait almost. a minute. Hmm? Wait a minute. Hmm? So. Oh, yeah, when you kill someone. Something... So what is it? A crit. No, that's not a crit, but I just got him down to zero hit points, didn't I? Which means I can do my Rising Fury. Blimey. Ooh. Which is plus two damage until the end of your next turn when you reduce an enemy to zero hit points. Yep, that sounds good. Go ahead and drop that on me. So I click that button yep. like that. I think I that's dropped totally it on me. Yep, you did. It totally worked. And I believe that's the end of my turn. Yeah, the problem. Yes, I can't do much more than I that. Did, I, think. I did delete so. the wrong one because the one I deleted would have ended naturally. Rawr. The Beastmaster, <laughs> the Beastmaster. Um, what, 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 what? The Beastmaster says something. Of course, you folks can't understand it. Um, <laughs> I just think it's Savannah saw on that one. He was just like, he pulled the arrow out of himself. I was like, what the fuck would I do in pretending to be hurt? Just rah! <laughs> just charged over. <laughs> Side this thing down with one hit. Mm. No more acting. The um, archer takes a five, it shifts five feet as his movement it does not provoke an attack of opportunity. And he, for some reason, passing understanding, targets. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What just happened? Um, uh, the soldier died, correct? Yeah. So, as the. And who killed. You killed him, right? Um, Savanazor? I did, yes. Mm hmm. Creepy is about to happen. Yeah, so I have to. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to I'm going to use this guy as a proxy right now. Uh, forgive me, but uh, he's standing next to you. So there was a there was a hobgoblin soldier standing there, and as you strike him down with your sword, he howls with pleasure, and his skin starts to split and erupt, almost like um, I don't like that. Almost like his blood pressure just shot up to like ten thousand. PSI and from his wounds squirts this orange, bright orange, acidic blood, and uh, it goes nert, nert. Didn't Zoga warn us about this? He did. I do remember that. You're right. And uh, so with the, it, it, it's probably fine. Um, mm -hmm. Zoga did. <laughs> Zoga did. <laughs> this. Oh, hit. He hits. What? Yeah, oh, Sarvanazor, oh. and. Uh, <sighs> Venezuela's in the wars today. You are you are covered in um, burning, scalding. It's actually like literally hot, burning, scalding blood, and it does a bunch of damage to you. But that's not actually yeah, where that dude it, was. That was where the other guy was. I think this dude was here. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah. So I'm gonna, yeah. Yep, yep, hang on. Sorry. And now this guy. Um, ha it's now the archer's turn. He has Lavellus targeted for some reason, and he pulls out. Too bad. He pulls out a long black arrow. Uh -oh. Uh -huh. He misses. Yeah, he does. Wow. Whoosh. It's Ko's turn. Wait. Oh. No. <gasps> hmm. Okay, I'm not grabbed anymore, right? Uh, yeah, correct, because the thing that grabbed you, there might be like a claw still hanging off you. Yeah, but, it's just sticking on me. Yeah, but otherwise... Right, Arch Archer's looking pretty bad here. It says you're grabbed. I don't know if you have to turn that off. Um, I can turn it off. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can turn it off. <laughs> yeah, for uh, Fantasy Grounds, I don't think it knows to remove conditions. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm not sure you can get there without provoking attack of opportunity, Co. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Um, as soon as you leave a threatened square, you provoke. Okay, so I'm here, right? Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I could always jump there. <laughs> Is that a thing? Just uh, jump over them? <laughs> yeah, I mean, use your athletics to try to jump over them. I use my movement, my Seamorg's move, my Seamorg's wings movement technique, and just kind of land in there. It's up to you. 
Who, who's you? Yeah, you're, you're, you're the GM. Well, you're, yeah. it's your, you're, you're, you want to use athletics, right? To you want to use your move action to jump into the into where exactly? Uh, to this spot. Okay. Well, that's that's is your character. Maybe if you want to do it, go for it. You, know, oh, you don't okay. need my permission. Okay. Oh, okay. You just might not. Oh. You just gotta roll well enough. <laughs> so, so it's a catch. Yeah. You rolled a five. How is it? Twenty-one. A five. That's uh, insane. I that do have advantage that I roll again. I love it. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're gonna do better this than five. This is ridiculous. This, this is, is the ridiculous. Best, this is the best class combo <laughs> that there ever was. <laughs> and only for this one move. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how uh, just a standing long jump works. Um. <laughs> You might have to look it up, but I, it's probably something like your result divided by five. Uh, but if that is it, then you you got more than enough. Even if it was divided by ten, you'd almost have it. Yeah, so I just kind of like like bend down like a cricket bowing back, and as I do the little bits of extra defense rock, kind of crumble off me as I just shoot into the air and then land, and this pile of dust is there. Uh, and I kind of turn next to the Beastmaster and the Archer beside me, uh, and I give a good spin as I do my uh, Eternal Mountain. I'm gonna kind of turn my my club uh, sideways and just whoosh, spin around. So we'll see. Uh, I think those um, both miss. Wait, one of them hit. Terrible. You hit the Archer. One terrible. of them hit. Yep. Oh, well, well because of because yeah. of Dale's um, minus three to their defenses, and you're attacking. Yeah. The, you're attacking. It's an attacking as fortitude, not armor class. Uh, I really like the. Yeah. I like fourth edition's way of treating defenses. Oh well, okay. That archer's dead. Ooh, and I believe that means uh. I'm feel a little flurry. And since this is a different person, it's a bigger flurry. Uh, so as I, I kind of wobble, uh, as I swing that around, I turn and just clock this beast master uh, right in the uh, open skull and like bits of rock fly off of my knuckles as I do that. That's cool. You have like yeah. ablet of- I went, it hurts a little bit. They have a probably a very fibrous skull because I've heard that like when bones are broken or exposed, they get thicker and thicker. Ooh. Maybe that's why they do it. Maybe that's why they do it. And I think that's my turn. Does the archer blow up in acid? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely does. Sorry. Thank oh, you. Dial. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have I, said anything. I'm going to give that why to Why did the, I do that? Uh, he's got co-targets, so I'm going to use the... Do I get a bonus for honesty next round? I'm going to use the, I'm gonna use this guy's death burst, even though it was the archer who died. And uh, actually, where was the archer standing? No, he was... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so he hits co and... And you are caught. You take you take damage from the archer's um, boiling blood as it squirts all over you and runs down your your um, your granite mm-hmm. exterior. Yeah, maybe it like erodes the the part around my face, so it's like I'm wearing a mask of my own face. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Mike Myers over here. He's going to use his move action to shift one square back. That does not provoke an attack of opportunity. And then he uses his war whip on you. Which critically misses. Automatic miss. Yep. (laughs) And he's done. Zoga. Yeah. So I'm just going to stay there behind there we go. Boop, boop. I'm going to re- yeah <laughs> if you want to stand in between yeah in between all of the exploding hobgoblins and me I bet you know go right ahead I might as feel, well feel free I want to target this guy and he's getting the old warlord's favor so I I give a little wink to Cervanazor as I run out from behind him. Yeah. 
He's bloody. Oh, the dice disappeared. Bam. And then also, uh, I think this has to go on to, because this is this is the buff that I give to, uh, Sir, uh, Sir Vanazor. Okay. Or actually, I'm gonna give it to. Oh. One ally within two, within five squares of you gets a plus two yep. power bonus. Yep. But you winked at me. I see. You want to know, though. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and actually, you know, why not? I hit an enemy with a weapon attack. Oh, he's much. Uh, he gets he's badly wounded wait hang on a second one with oh okay yeah yep cool booms that was furiously assault him furious assault cool bam um nice the soldier. That's interesting. Friendly game? <laughs> mm, how friendly? This guy just wants to stand here. He just wants to that's stand all, there. That's all. He just wants to stand there. Hmm. You know what he's roll up a, to. Roll a bluff. He wants to die there. So he explodes all his stuff. Um, the, the, because these hobgoblins know how to be hobgoblins better than I do. Uh, so this soldier, <laughs> whose turn it is, targets the big Zog, Zogus Maximus, Blimey. and uses its uh, formation strike. It uses its martial training. Jesus. Oh. Well, yep. Yeah. You guys are going to have no problem with the rest of this campaign. The curse is passed on to you. If I can't roll above a seven. And um, and he shifts five feet as, uh, as part of the formation strike and ends his turn next to that other hobgoblin. So now they both get plus two AC. And that's it. Uh, Hi. I'm going to just stay where I am because I quite like it here. Um, but I'm a little concerned about all this movement that they're doing. Excuse me. Why can't I grab, grab the, eh, grab, eh. <laughs> oh, that was really hard. Um, I'm a little concerned about all this movement and the possibility of their escape. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try a little song of Briaris real quick. Um, little so, song, little uh, Briaris. Yeah, little, little song, little old Briaris. Um, so, Bri, are, Bri are them? No, Bri are us. Bri are us. Ooh. That was on a 19 and it went to a one. You know what, though? I um, I do have <laughs> Dernwin's guidance and I'm going to try use it. Um, so if I could uh, real quick. Now let me see, let me see, let me see. I got to do that again, but just, to, just for one of them. So this guy. And I try it again. Ugh. That one here? Yep. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Um, and then boop, boop. They're slowed. Hooray! Nice. <laughs> Pretty good. And that is my turn. So the again, the the foliage on the forest floor um, becomes spectral blades of grass that wrap up around their ankles and their calves and hold them fast. Nice. We. They don't like that. <laughs> good. They're not getting away this time. First one, if I go here. One, two, three, four, five. I've been a drilling, blah, blah. You know, bonus attack roll. The one half. Hmm, I'm trying to decide if I want to drag this dude away. Are we still interested in any kind of interrogation? I did ask. I don't think we're going to get much. I, 
I mean, we think try. We, we, do we want to do like... it just to make Matt role play a hobgoblin? Yeah. <laughs> that well, we don't I, speak I, the I, language for. Anyone it'll just understand. be. <laughs> <laughs> none, none of us can understand them, right? Yeah. Just making barking noises. And they can't understand us. Yeah, but they sound like chihuahuas. <laughs> So maybe, oh maybe, it's, maybe it's pointless, Anna. Maybe it's just, uh, let's kill him. It's <laughs> a really good Shamaru impression. Okay, in that case, turn your creature. Uh, I would move here. FYI, when you move from uh, the square in front of Zoga to the square you're in, you would provoke an attack of opportunity from that soldier. There might, there's probably, Why? Because um, when you're here, you're in its threatened area, and if you move within a threatened area... Oh, that's right. Now, there's 40, probably a way for you to... attack of opportunity shit is whack. Uh, okay. Um, there's probably an easier way. There's probably You could probably just move here and then here. Uh, yeah, I would. Yep. No worries. I wouldn't I wouldn't move in such a way that would yep. provoke a opportunity of attack. Um, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to use <laughs> sweeping blow. Oh, wait. How did I do... Okay, I got them both targeted. Okay, so sweeping. I I think this is how it works. <laughs> Two hits. Nice. So let me go ahead and damage both of these guys. Nice. That doesn't seem right either. And he just killed one. Oh, it did hit them both. Yes. For a damage of twelve. One, one of them's dead. That Random does seem battle. right to me. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm gonna... Which one died? Uh, soldier oh, one. Yeah. Here, I'll show you. Yeah. Because I just go boop, boop. Dead. Okay, so go now on. I've got Beastmaster here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mark... Yep, he's marked. Did the soldier explode? Oh, yeah, he did. Where was he? <laughs> Uh, yeah. it he, was right next, he was right next to Oren. He was right next to Oren, right? So I'll just use the Beastmasters. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll turn him off. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so there's an explosion of blood that sprays uh, all over Oren. Would that explosion of blood also hit the Beastmaster, though? Uh, oh. the beast, the, these guys are immune to the... These guys, the blood <gasps> The blood doesn't hurt them. You missed. Yep. I gracefully pirouette in the air and all the blood flies around me. You're like, blood on my clothes? I don't <laughs> think so. Oh, yep. <laughs> Do a little shimmer, like a mini phase step and just completely avoid it. Cool. Savannazor. Um, I'm trying to remember. There's Man, like I don't want to... Yeah. I don't want to get close to that thing. It's... Kill it, and then it's just gonna get me blood. But I mean, it's only a D eight. Ah, yeah, fair a, enough. A bit of blood. Yeah, you know, you're only bloodied. You'll be fine. That's true. It's just Charge. literally boiling blood. <laughs> just a little boiling hot your blood. Guys, more Yeah, often. that is all. Add a boy. Okay, so I've charged. Woo. Did I target him? Ba, 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 mm -hmm. ba. Yes, I did. Okay. I think I'm going to use my... Uh, have it. Bring us on home. Howling strike again. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to be goody. <laughs> Fuck. Aha! Oh, Wallop. Man. And then... Wallop. He doesn't have plus two to his defenses anymore. I can turn that off. Oh, I didn't kill him. I just hurt him. Yeah, he's he's not this happy. He's, he's exhausted and ter look, he's starting to look like his eyes are starting to spin wildly. So he's overcome with wait. Uh, terror. Is he, did I take him to blooded? No, I didn't. Did I? Um, he was blooded Sorry. a little while ago. It looks like. Oh, okay, I can't use that then. It's not or an or in sweeping blow, blooded. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else I could do? Free. Oh, what's this? Oh, savage growl. Encounter free trigger. You hit an enemy and you don't reduce it to zero hit points. <laughs> target the enemy you hit effect. You mark the target until the end of your next turn. Until the end. Till the end. Sorry. Till the mark ends. You and the target deal one d8 extra damage against each other. <laughs> Two are just slapping each other in the face. Well, it's just when, no. It's just when it's just you each get pissed at each other. 
So it right. doesn't it doesn't give you extra attacks. You don't get an uh -huh. extra slap attack. But when but oh, when okay. but when you attack, you do extra damage. Oh, so it would be on my next attack against this person. And on his now. next attack against you, correct. Uh, so it's probably not worth doing it. It's gonna die, isn't he? Right now, I should think. Depends on what code. I'll is. leave it. Coke can miss. Go on, Co. Get him. Take him. All right. So I'm gonna take my way around here yeah. to flank. Yeah. <laughs> Very carefully. Nice. And again, that's a plus two, correct? Uh, yeah. All right. And tell if I've got him targeted. It won't light up. Yep. Oh, there we go. Target space I, mask. You um, can see in the combat tracker, it tells you who everybody has targeted. I mean, yeah, the gates of battle, they're already open, um, but I'm, I'm going to open them a little bit. They're just, the gates of battle are like ajar, and I'm going to try to open them a little them bit open. more. Ooh. I would like it if um, you guys so guessed, I kind of, and I would like it if my guys hit. <laughs> guys. So sh shake the acid sure. blood off of Mercy and uh, give him a good wallop on top of the head. Like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> he howls and defiantly. For one good measure. It's nice that you all gathered around him for the fountain of boiling yeah, for the blood. Fountain of we all blood. laugh at him as he dies. Oh, no, I just did that. Sorry. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I accidentally had the blood for the blood god targeted. Uh, <laughs> There we go. So the Beastmaster... Wait, wait. What? Hey, wait. Hmm? I knock him out instead. We were supposed to capture somebody. No, we, we thought about it. No, we, I think we decided just to kill him, right? Because we can't wait, understand wait, him wait. anyway. Wait, right? We can decide this now, right? I don't have to kill him. I don't, it says Did right they... here, dying. Status dying. <laughs> I mean, but I'm Status dying to death. Like, Isn't status there a thing dying. that said that they spoke common? Well, he's dying. Status dying, not status dead, right? Right. We can stabilize. Yeah, I'll just give him... We have uh, the technology. No, I'm not him to <laughs> bite me. <laughs> I need 10 cc's of not dying stat. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That's like the third or fourth right. one I've rolled. That's rough. Um, that's okay. I don't mind. My reaction was too delayed. I couldn't I couldn't dodge. Even some mana still managed to dodge that one, didn't I? <laughs> And then this guy dies. I'm wounded. You guys are covered in boiling hobgoblin blood. But apart from that, you have successfully survived and triumphed in your first encounter against the blood skulls. Now you have some yes. idea what they can do. God, actually, I've got to be honest, though. I feel like Colville rolled some real bad rolls. Yeah, that was, that yeah. I think we, I think we got away with a little bit there. I mean, uh, <laughs> they were obviously they were not. They just just a patrol. They were not prepared for a cadre of trained heroes to come after them. They never really, they never really recovered from fucking Co landing on them like a meteor. <laughs> I use like everything though. So <laughs> yeah, that real, was real, real high. Went Nova. Well, the good news oh, is, I um, mean, you guys are wounded, but apart from that, no one died. Everything's fine. Um, speaking of figuring out some of the things that they can do, I was spending the battle trying to pay attention to what their sort of um, defensive capabilities were. <laughs> re reflex versus fortitude and i wonder like maybe maybe it would need an insight roll or something but i wonder whether i could like determine whether they tended to be more like bulky sort of tough things out or whether they tended to be more reflexy i mean um zoga has shared this forest with these guys his whole life he could tell you that hey hey zoga are these guys more <laughs> tough and out bulky or are they more reflexy <laughs> I mean, looking at the stats that I was recording as we were going through, I think they tended to have a higher reflex defense than fortitude, but I just I just want to save myself from wasting spells down the line. I think that's probably true. You know, Zoga would let Lavellus know cool. based on his experience combating these guys, okay. which one it is. I'm assuming it's, it's more reflex, right? They're little gobos. Well... Hang on. <laughs> I think there's a thing called like monster knowledge checks as well. 
I don't know. Maybe you just roll a d20. I don't know if you have a stat bonus to it's that at or the, anything. It's at the top of the. It's a, uh, at the top of the stat block, Tom. Yeah, it's actually all. It's all. It, they're pretty well rounded. They're pretty well rounded. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, they're soldiers. Noted. They're warriors. Noted. Yeah, well, for soldiers and warriors, we hit them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if this is the best they got, you guys are gonna have no problem. Yeah. I, what I'm concerned about is their attacks doing better next time. But um, as far as their I defenses, I feel like they are, you know, definitively hittable. Mm-hmm. Well, this is oh, most this certainly is. not uh, the best they got. But uh, this is it. It's a fool. <laughs> they're not. They're not invincible. No, of course not. Look, I mean, you guys uh, managed, with one exception, you guys managed to get through this with barely any, almost unscathed. Did you see that there was like a black arrow? Mm-hmm. The couple. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's in me, isn't it? If I pull it out. Uh, it that was like not. The, that was not the, a black arrow. The the one that was shot at me. So it'll be back here somewhere. Just go and search the arrow. Can I go looking for it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's gonna take. Gonna it's gonna. It's archer. gonna. He's got three more black arrows in him. He's got a bunch of arrows. He's a whole quiver, but only three of them are black arrows. And they look like the ones from the dusk elves. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're in Wait. Yeah, what if the like elves are pretending to be old Yonrog and like wi- winding his lot up into a oh. frenzy, you know? They're doing Ooh. some kind of trick because they're pretty, you know what I mean? They're pretty dim. Good idea, Ko. I was just uh, thinking. Uh, oh, yeah. Carry on with that, Ko. Oh, <laughs> I would help, uh, but I'm very weak. <laughs> Do I get? I, have, you, I saw it said we take a short rest. Do I get my action point back on a short uh, rest? No, you get your action point back after two encounters. Ah, uh, okay. After every other encounter, you get uh, you get your action point back. After every encounter, do we get one action point back? Because we have two now. Yeah, why have I only got yeah, one? Do, You're right. Get, I used to no, have no, two. no, 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 no. You you don't. You have. The, uh, oh, it's because we we hadn't spent one. Correct. Is that yep. right? That's exactly okay. right. Right. But but here's the thing: when you say we have two, you can only spend one per encounter. Right. So what you could do is you could go like you know four Thank encounters, you. accumulate two, and then use an action point in each of the next two encounters after that. Right. Okay. Well, I've got one more left because I only use one in that encounter. Yep. No, gotcha. What did I do? Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, so, quick question about the bodies, because there was the whole thing about them exploding with mm-hmm. blood. But yeah. are the bodies still present? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There are corpses here. Yeah. Because I saw that Ko, uh, Ko has hid the bodies. But what I'm wondering is, like, because they have these, like, black arrows from the Dusk Elves, I'm presuming, I wonder if it would create any kind of additional chaos if we stuck the other arrows into the body of, like, one of the dead. Oh, some extras from, from the elves, too. Uh, yeah, Because maybe if they come across it, they'd be like, what the fuck? They've <laughs> That's turned cool. on us. I love that. That's not a cool idea. Let's do that. Because, I mean, what are we going to do with the arrows? All they do is make Zoga <laughs> sad. I think, we, <laughs> yeah. I think we've, all, we've all got a couple anyway, haven't we? I think I took some. Yeah, I certainly had two. Plus uh, the yeah, third that I just went looking got, for. I got one, but yeah, we've all got some. Yeah. I want to well, do that and see what happens. Let's, uh, can we search them as well? Like search the other, the ones we killed. Sure, you're just going to find, you're just going to find some. Rummage. Like, they're going to have some copper on them. Apart from that, just gear. Normal, normal hobgoblin. Right. Hobgoblin treasures. Nothing. Sure, yeah. Hobgoblin souvenirs. They have they have various like uh, trophies and stuff that they wear. But I, the other trophies because we saw the the scarecrow. Oh yeah, we got that a bit. Covered appendages true. and things. Yeah. So necklaces. It's mostly ears and tongues. Mmm. Some the only thing I that yawn rod to the. Uh, <laughs> the only, the only thing that link, links them to the shadow elf is the arrows. Nothing else. As far as you can tell, yeah. Yeah, okay. Do they have any kind of, like, tattooing on them or anything? Like, any kind of um, branding or whatever? No. Apart from okay. the shaved skulls, no. 
Right. Right. Okay. Uh, I guess I need to spend a, uh, what do you call it, a healing surge, right? Because I got quite hurt. You can spend... Oh, a, a yeah, I think... Um, 11 per day? I guess I just click, how do you do this again? Oh, apply healing surge, there we go. Dink. Yeah, I believe you can use oh, as many one. of them as you want during a, a rest. I'm okay, going to do another one. Oh, God, I'm going to have to do three. Dink. I'm all better. Yeah, I spent three. I got 11 per day. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm better now. Um, let's see. So why does it say bloody 21, though, still? After a short rest, Your you can spend status. as many healing surges as you want. Right. Yep, that makes sense. So. That just means that when you hit 21, you will be bloodied. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, cool. I'm all better. We had a search around. What, what are you talking about being bloodied? You're not bloodied. No, sorry. It I was, it's, uh, they'll explain it, yeah. It just, when I okay. get to 21 or under, I become bloody. Correct. I was misreading. My just because it lists oh, okay. it on the yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all. just telling you what that, what number. Yeah, got it. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. it's. Um, I think it's still like before noon. I'm not sure exactly. You guys might remember, but I think so. So it's up to you folks what you want to do next. So if this was a, a scouting party, that means that they, they've come from from something like a small base or a guard tower or something nearby. So what I'm thinking is we could track them back to back to the guard post that they uh, were scouting from and see if it's something that we could that we could potentially clear out. Because if we can if we can just eliminate the hobgoblin presence in this this little base, we could then pretty safely move the people here and have a good defensible to, position to for... the cleared out thing yeah oh i mean it's it's, it's probably not going to be in great shape <laughs> i mean it like it, it it's likely an old gull structure that's been you know appropriated yeah. by them and they don't really I mean, do any housekeeping so but it's, it's better than out. yeah we could we could clear them out and then have Sort of a, a a fortified encampment for for the people while we while we scout ahead. You know, basically do this for three days, and then we're and then we're golden. You know, it's an excellent idea. Probably better than trying to find another hole to stick them in. Uh, blimey! Won't there be a lot of them at the outpost? Would it be better to identify their patrols and seek somewhere else instead of clearing it out? I mean, these warriors, they were maybe not their best, but they only get stronger than this lot, right? True. But I, I think we should, uh, we could find the tower and then make an assessment based on... Make an assessment? You know. Oren keeps uh, stabbing. So, Oren, would you do me a favor, Oren? Uh would you describe there's um i think four hobgoblins and two dead uh scorpion dogs yeah how are uh, give me an accounting of the arrows so there was three in the quiver there was one there was, that was one shot. that was shot past me yeah yeah i had two so, from a previous attack and vanazor said that he had a couple from a previous sure. thing yeah so i feel like Depending on how many we have, there should probably be at least like one arrow in each of the um, the actual hobgoblins, and okay. then maybe for the uh, for the ones that were like more early, like had more uh, like the command HP. Yeah, yeah, we put like an extra one or two depending on the supply. Yeah. In that one. Kind of, kind of like replicating the when you say an extra look one or two. Of, of dead Gleopoli, right? Like, sure, yeah. Makes like sense. she yeah. was shot through with multiple arrows, so kind of trying to get that look going. Um, when you say one or two, which is it? One or two extra, which is it? So one or two? I don't know how many we have total. I've got one. I think we've got about eight total, maybe oh. nine. Wait, do we, do we want to give them all up? It might come in useful at some point. Probably not. I mean, all I don't of them. know. We've... I'm keeping. Mine. How many did you have, Vanzor? Uh, let me look at my inventory. Black Arrow one. I've only got one. 
So you've got one, Oren had one, I had two, then we got four. So that's eight, right? Uh, that makes yeah. sense. That's two plus four. Yeah. Right, so if you, put, if you put one in each of them, that's four, and you have four left over, and Oren said that she wanted to take one or two extra and stab them into the meatiest one. And uh, mm. A, you, know, you folks want to make sure that you think that that's worth spending those arrows, that you have enough left over for whatever your plans are in the future, but I would like to know whether or not there's two arrows or three arrows in this guy. Does everybody in the party have at least one black arrow? I don't think so. Maybe. I have one. Oh, okay. Does Co have one too? I think so. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, put it in my inventory though. What what are our like plans for the black arrows? Do we have plans for the black arrows? I have no idea. Like I, I just I feel like we I should thought that part. for some Sorry. reason. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like try. the black arrow is like a. We don't know it yet, and it might come in handy. Yeah, that's but, true. I mean, we tried I mean, a couple things earlier uh, on, and FYI, nothing really happened. All these, the, the there are probably more black arrows in the future. Like it's probably it's unlikely that this one hobgoblin archer on patrol had like all <laughs> had all one, of their yeah. black arrows. So, right, it's not like the supply. I think we should stick at there. least three arrows in the media dude. That that's yeah. my my particular aesthetic instinct. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Like, probably one in the noggin, one in the leg, and maybe one somewhere else that looks vulnerable and whatever. What about Who's rolling? One in the leg and two in the neck. <laughs> you watch as Oren kind of, you know, stabs arrows into all these folks and then picks the Beastmaster and stabs two more into him and his corpse uh, fades out. Ah. Uh, ooh. The Beastmaster's uh, corpse yeah. faded. Now there's only <laughs> now there's only three goblin corpses and two dead scorpion dogs. Okay. What happened to the black arrows? They're gone. <laughs> ah. That's okay. So, so we used mm. seven so we have three left. Yes. Yeah. Did he fade out because of the black arrows, or did he fade out because he's something to do with the shadow elves? Like he's the disguised shadow elf, something like that. I wonder which I one it know. was. Like if he we didn't stuck, do it after the first. That's what I mean. If we stuck one more arrow in another goblin, because only got one in them, but they fade out, then we know it's something to do with the arrows. Maybe. If they how many, don't, how many arrows do you have left? Well, I mean, if we take if we take one out of one of the other corpses for yeah. experimentation, we still Ooh, keep three. Good <laughs> yes, idea. Clever. I'll, I'll Let's do it. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. Yeah. We do it. Uh, okay, mark off the black arrows. Stand by. Well, it's just the same one that was in the... Yep, if, uh, the, another hobgoblin fades out and disappears. What the... What? Okay, wait... <laughs> But maybe it's to it do looks with the just like it looks just like the uh, Back to the Future fade out. I'm, I'm trying to remember <laughs> what specifically happened when Zogus stabbed his own hand with one of the arrows. Oh yeah, he started seeing stuff a little bit. Yeah, it was super got, weird. But no checks got, were made, right? Because our thought know. was that it might be a portal to the other. Because that's how the the other elf got away, right? It stabbed itself yes. with the arrow. Well remembered, yeah. Maybe My mind is like a trap. With enough arrows? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like a part of him went there <laughs> for a little bit. So I just realized that in this other realm, this this shadow elf somewhere, just watching dead hot goblins appear on their lawn. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Is he trying to have a cup of tea? Who is leaving no these here? <laughs> uh, uh, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah, because whenever we came across, like, quote unquote, our dead bodies, like, they also were full of arrows, too, right? But were they black arrows? Uh, I can't remember. My memory's not as good as Dale's. Wait, what was the question? Uh, actually, I don't even think Lavellus was there to see it, but whenever we came across all of those dead bodies that included ones that were, like, duplicates of us, 
they had arrows in them and we knew it was like I mean we knew it was like the Dusk Elves for some reason assuming they had black arrows or at least some of them were I mean were they? I can't remember I don't remember either I'd have to go back and watch the video well we still have five arrows (laughs) but maybe we should stop (laughs) <laughs> yeah, up. let's take yeah. the arrow like that's because there was like there was four. We put multiple in the one, but each of the other ones got at least one in the other one that we stabbed with two. So there's one left. So let's go ahead and take that one back and we'll yeah. figure this shit out later. We don't have to try and trick hobgoblins. Yeah, I mean, I think that I think there were two hobgoblin buddies left with one arrow in each. Yeah, let's take them out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a fun experiment. It was. Okay. I feel like we learned some things. Um, yeah, we did. That's great. <laughs> okay, we still have five black arrows. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, does anyone, Benito? <laughs> hey, does anyone in our party wield a bow? Mm, I can. I, can. <laughs> I don't I think do I not, have no. one. I do not I have a javelin. We start shooting these at the bad guys and see what happens. They just vanish in the middle of combat. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I, I got a javelin. I could attach an arrow to the end of the javelin. <laughs> I mean, you can just use an arrow like up close if you're holding it. Like it just becomes like a melee thing. I'm pretty Dagger. sure. Hmm, All right, what now? That'd be very interesting. What? Um, let's see. What's this? <laughs> I mean, I agree. Well, let's do what Zoga said. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's nothing. I just saw GM thing pop up. Menu is in front of my <laughs> my eyes. Or Banasaur. That's not what you said. No, it's not. <laughs> Get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I say we pick one of us and stab them with black arrows until something happens. Yes. That sounds like something Sir Banasaur would say. Right, we could pop back to the uh, f- the uh, villagers and just yeah, tr- experiment on them. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. Let's get that dude who got slapped. Yeah, oh. you'll do. <laughs> you'll do. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, Zoga's idea I think was good. Ooh, ooh, what was that? Well, you didn't hear that because it was you had just left. Um, oh, sorry. I was saying since this was a, like a scouting party, we should we should kind of like. See if we can track their footsteps back to, like, their little guard tower or whatever little base of, of uh, operations that they came from. And see if we can kind of let's see, like, what their presence is looking like there. And, you know, kind of try and sort out if we can take them on. Because if we can clear out their, their little guard tower, we can uh, move the people from the dragon's cave into that. Ooh. And then, you know, just sort of yep. keep leapfrogging them through, finding finding sort of defensible locations for them until we're out of the forest. I like it. So an emphasis on defense rather than stealth. Like stealth, if we can get it, defense, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, because we're not that stealthy, you know? Like yeah. we, we've tried it a handful of times and it, exactly. it kind of keeps let, biting us. Let alone with like 30 humans. Right, yeah, that one. And so... Yeah, cool. Yeah, and I, I don't know how many how many might be at this guard tower. It might be way too many, but you know, if it's if it, if it's enough that it looks like we might be able to ambush them in some way or like kind of lay siege to their little outpost, if we can take them out and take it over, then we'd have a a, a spot. We we'd have a spot to move the people to that we kind of know that. We've we've taken out this little local area's hobgoblin patrols. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm down. Yeah, try and yeah. track. Yep, track the uh, scouting pie and see where Let's they go. Let's go kick a wasp nest. All right. Who's good at tracking? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm looking at real quick. <laughs> I think I think I'm pretty good at tracking. Tracking's part of. Uh, tracking skill. Yeah. It's nature, isn't nature, it? Right? I think it is nature, act- actually. My nature is a plus one. So it's maybe not. Maybe not. Eight. Nature knowledge, um, forage. Hang on a minute. Um, finding a path. Common. I think. I think finding a 
Finding tracks was perception. Following tracks was nature, I think. Okay, well. Uh, my, my perception is a plus six. My perception is a plus nine. Go for it, then. Hey, guys, can all search the area and look for tracks? What it depends on whether or not they were trying to move stealthily, and and then if they even if they were, maybe they weren't that good at it. Mm. Mm. So we can also, I think we can do the thing where we can also aid one another in certain skill checks. Probably. And I I was reading over it, and it says basic like it sounds crazy. You have but to make a, says, a skill check in the DC's ten, and if you succeed, you give somebody plus two. I didn't mean to do yes. that. Sorry. And you can do it up to, like, plus eight. Right, but each person can only do it once. Right, like, if I were to use my perception, which is plus nine, then the party could roll, and then if X many people got ten or greater, they would give me a plus two with a maximum of plus eight. Yeah, so if each of them, if, if Ko, Zoga, Vanazor, and Lavellus each made a perception check against DC-10 trying to help you look, and if mm-hmm. they each made it, then you would get an additional plus two, four, six, eight to your roll. Yeah. Cool. All right, we... let's do that. Yeah. Should I go ahead and do my perception since I got a plus nine? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You might you might just get it anyway. It's just straight up perception. Follow tracks is straight up in perception. Okay. Should I go ahead and... I'm just going to do roll it in the main thing or a secret thing? No, go ahead and roll for him. Yeah, you can roll. I mean... And should we be rolling to help? 17. Probably Roll wouldn't. To help. Yeah, you're able okay. to find them. You're able to find them without help. Okay, great. It doesn't it doesn't seem like they were being very careful. Um, in fact, um, no, well, 17. Yeah, you, you notice that um, it seems as though you can tell which direction they came from, right? But even in the direction that they're going, there are there are still more tracks. It's just they're a lot older and faded. Uh, so they've uh, they've got a root, or had a root. Mm. <laughs> yes. Route. Route. Oh, that's cool. Does it? Can I tell like between the different tracks of the different ages? Like, is are there some tracks where it's like okay, like the most recent set of tracks are obviously the ones that from this patrol, but the older tracks are from like two days ago or something like that. So I, I can get an idea of like how regularly do they come through here. Are you proficient in uh, perception? I am. Okay. Yeah, they come. It seems as though they come through here either once a day or or once a day plus or minus once a day. So it's like once or twice a day, and maybe sometimes they skip a day. Does it seem like um, the tracks that we're seeing, or the tracks that I'm seeing, does it seem like it's the same scouting group, or does it seem like it's different scouting groups? Like, it seems like it's different scouting groups. Okay. That means what we could probably do, since the Black Arrow experiment is over, <laughs> we could probably go ahead and hide the bodies again for further away from where these tracks are to try and... The re- yeah, the remaining yeah. bodies. <laughs> uh, just so that way, the likelihood of them getting found out is not very high. Um, and if we kind of follow along the tracks, we should expect to run into uh, an additional scouting party. So... Yeah, I'm just trying to think, like, if it would be better, because we probably should still want to sneak. That way, maybe we can ambush the next scouting party if there is another one coming by. I don't know what you guys think. Thank you, Ko. I like sneaking. <laughs> I'm a big fan of sneaking. One of us has to be. <laughs> no, I think I think that sounds that that sounds good. What if we do like, we wanna, do we want to hide the these bodies on the other side of the river where we were? I'm down with that. The riverbed, rather. Yeah. Yep, let's move. Cool. What if we use the body to make a trap, like make it look like it's sleeping under a tree, and we come down out of the tree and beat him up? Might be weighing up a tree for a day or so, though. It's true. That's, yeah, that's the only thing I was worried about. We're not back in 10 days that there's yeah. trouble. Yeah, you're right. You're going to start eating that dragon. Oh, yeah, and the villagers, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the villagers. <laughs> oh, oh, why are we here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel about those, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's say we've done that. We hit him. Okay. And we we put some we leaves did. over him, you know. Do the old leaves, yeah. <laughs> the old leaves. The old leaves trick, classic. 
<laughs> um, so should we go ahead and head in the direction of the of where the tracks came from, but then maybe stay like, I don't know, 30 feet or 40 feet off. So that, that way we're not on the trail itself. Like that. Okie dokie. Cool. And probably have some scouts up ahead who are extra sneaky. And Vanazor, you get to stay in the back. Hmm. All right. We'd do well to have our sneakiest person up front and our most perceptive person up front. I am not sneaky. But you are very None of us are, none of us are sneaky except for Really? Kalu. I have a plus 11 to sneak and a plus 6 to perception. Okay. That's pretty, pretty good. good. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Wait. Uh, Lavellus, what's your, what's your stealth? My stealth is like zero. Oh. It might actually yeah. be worse. No, because I've got the plus one from leveling up now. So oh. I had a negative one yep. and nice. now I have zero. <laughs> you have experience now. It's a good thing you left. Yeah. The, good thing you left the forest. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think I have one second. I'm going to roll stealth, but just, that's just cause I want to see if I have any bonus, okay. which I don't think I do. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. All right. It starts flailing around. See, Orin, is, Orin says, oh, I'm moving stealthily. Seen. Can you see me? <laughs> I, I can't see yeah. me. No. God. Okay. Do you, okay, do you want me to roll in the tower? Um. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to make a roll until there's a um thing. By, I'll, I'll, I feel like my perception's so high, I'd be able to tell if Ko is being stealthy or not. It's usually <laughs> you can usually tell if other people are being stealthy. Yeah, but you guys can move. You guys can move. You guys can make an effort to move stealthily. It just means you're going to move slowly, uh, more most slowly than normal. You have to have special okay. abilities to move stealthily and at full speed. Um, All right. But um, you don't have to make a roll until there's some kind of potential encounter. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Um, all right. Let's do it. You guys. Think, if there is a potential encounter, do we want to just like, do we want to just ambush them? Keep like trying to take out these little scout patrols? So or should we? Have we the of them can come back around if we are going to be sleeping in a guard tower. Yeah, just, I mean, them. how long did it take for us to get here? Maybe we want to, if they only come at it every day or so, maybe we want to let them walk by. But if we let them walk by, right, we clear out the guard tower, we bring the humans here. Who knows when those scout groups are going to come back. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So if the plan is to thoroughly clear out this place, we're going to have to thoroughly clear out this place. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm just we saying, like, know, if, we, if we come right across now. another scout group of, like, five-ish dudes like this, it seems like we're we're more than capable of... Of taking on a group like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't even get a chance to get up there and do anything, so Orin's I'm like I'm j I wanna somewhat. fight something. Yeah. I wanna kill some yeah. fucking hobgoblins. You guys suck at killing hobgoblins. Look <laughs> at you. You're all covered in blood. Sorry. That's, that's not Orin doesn't talk that way. Um I suppose the one big difference is that Ko won't have his daily next time. Hmm. That was pretty powerful even without the daily yeah. though. All the yeah. encounter powers and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I Most blush underneath my stone skin. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see. Like never red rocks. <laughs> and plus, Dale, you've got that fucking fire thing. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Madam Crisco awaits. Madam. Okay. Madam, Madam Crisco awaits. <laughs> yeah, I would put David her for the gods now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well, you folks are going to head south, and you're yep. moving slowly but stealthily, um, following the tracks of the scout, and it, uh, the scout's patrol obviously does not go, uh, it's not like it's a beeline directly to some kind of structure. However, by, uh, you folks can probably guess at what time of day you finally reach the origin point of these scouts. Mm. It's dusk. Say dusk. Say God. it. Yes. <laughs> say it. Say it. Say it. Dun, 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 dun. You come across a um, and, and the the 
As the sun slowly sets, remember that the canopy of the forest here is quite thick. So it's difficult. It, there's light, but it's not direct light. And so the tone of the of the light starts to get very reddish toward um, dusk. And you come across a ruined goal structure. What are you doing okay. over there? Get your ass back there. <laughs> I wouldn't be over there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. It feels safe in the shadows. <laughs> no, wait, uh, no. I don't, no, I didn't like that. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> and you, uh, so you get a, the, sto- the tower is about three stories high. There looks to be um, a makeshift tarp that has been dragged over the top of it because it is otherwise open to this. It's not like what you see here. The top of the tower right. is open to the sky. And, um, and it's a large... You can. There's like rope tying down the this. Um, that's what I'm looking for. This tarp. It's made of stitched together hides, and that keeps the top of the structure keeps the rain off when it rains. Please don't tell us what kind of hide. <laughs> that was left to your imagination. <laughs> and. There's, it's like an earthworks. This is a, this is. You can see that there is a ruined guard towers to the in, in front of you. There doesn't appear to be any activity there, and the whole thing is built on a hill, and you can see that the escarpment has been cleared away. Um, it seems like that's a natural formation, mm-hmm. and there is a bridge. Uh, it's almost like a, there's a moat. Right, and the bridge covers it. So actually, the um, like oh, yeah. like this part of the actually this that I'm pointing at is uphill. So it's almost like a, a okay. raised crater, right? And then there's a steep drop off, and there's a deep moat around the thing. So mm-hmm. this this bridge here takes you across the moat and to you can't really see from where you are but presumably that's the entrance to the tower and uh, I want everybody to make perception checks please yeah, in the tower sure yeah uh, da, 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 perception there it is in the tower um, Ko you notice there are uh, two archers that are in their here. I don't know if you guys can see my. So there's two archers there, and there appear to be two archers here, and they are high up. They're actually quite a bit higher up than you folks because you're down like in a gully, effectively, right? It's uh, it's over ten feet, about twelve feet to get from here to here, and then it's another like fifteen feet rise to go from here to here. And then the archers are on the second floor of a three-story tower. Okay. So Shit, as you can so tell, this tower is. Yeah, yeah. But you guys are you guys are you know far enough away and far enough down, and the foliage is thick enough that um, there's no real chance that they can see you. And you notice um, coming from this direction toward you, folks. There's a patrol of hobgoblins. <gasps> on their way it, to, in your direction. And they appear to be kind of like, they don't seem as as enthusiastic or as well prepared as the goblins that you already fought. They, they're grumbling a lot and they're kind of like, you know, arguing with each other. Probably getting unionized soon. Yeah. <laughs> they should. <laughs> Where there's a whip, whoops, there's I mean, a way. Where there's a whip. We, they, no, are we they, hiding? They, yeah, you guys are in a bush. Okay. If we try to fight them, we'll draw the attention of the archers. If we don't uh, try to fight them, then can... they'll just bolster the forces in the tower. I wonder if we can distract them sure. by having them go deeper in the forest, away from the line of sight of the archers. Yeah, if you guys want to... Obviously, this map has edges to it, but... The world doesn't. <laughs> so you guys are free to um, plan, make whatever plans you want. And if they involve leaving the edge of the map, no problem. We'll just, you know, 
use our imaginations. If we, if we were like, kind of sticking behind this wall right here, mm-hmm. would we be covered from the archers in the tower? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. So we could just lie into him here. It could like sound an alarm. Though, I mean, it's the only thing I'm a little worried. It's hard about. to say. I, I just want to point out, Zoga. It's it's not 100% clear exactly what the archers can see from their vantage point. So gotcha. it's possible it's it's possible that there are some squares that they would have line of sight to. Okay. But I your 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 general purpose is correct. Cool. Uh, we could, we could get some cover. Yeah. Ish. My preference is that we fight these guys because like even if they raise the alarm, I don't think we have the best chance of taking the tower by surprise. They've got archers on watch, and we are yes. not very stealthy. So, for me, I would just rather take out these reinforcements before trying to take the tower. Yeah. How do I delete this little arrow? I would say Control Z might do it. Um, you can right click on it. I think. Boom. Yeah. Hey, there we go. There we go. My God, something actually works the way you would imagine oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do, What do other people think? Um, it's what not like they, our options are only guys, attack or don't attack. I just like, wanna... like, what are they going to do? They're going to see us fighting these guys. They're going to send out other guys, and then you know, it just makes it easier for us to you know, just there's, there's fewer and fewer people in the tower when yeah. we bust um, in there and finish them off. Zoga, my fear. Make a tactics check. What? What even would be a tactics check? I have no idea. What do you think? History. It's definitely int based. It's definitely int based, right? Um, insight. Well, I would say no. Um, yeah, history. History makes as much sense as anything. Sure. Yeah, I think history is the only int based skill that makes sense. Well, I mean, when you think about tactics, right? Tactics. I believe it's named after uh, Tacticus, who wrote a book about how to fight. So, um, the fuck. That's real. Yep. Yep. What? He's kind of a Roman, or, like a, Roman or Greek. Uh, but if he was lying to yeah. you, how would you know? Would no, history, take him on tape. you know, tactics as learned through experience, right? That's no, kind that's of history. It. 100%. You're just, uh, all, like, yeah. you're just remembering old battles, right? So, yeah, go ahead and make a go ahead and make a history check. Do you want me to roll this in the tower? No, go ahead and roll it in front of God and everybody. <laughs> right, right in front of God and everybody. The, the gold. <laughs> <world. laughs> well, 11 is still eleven is still pretty good. I mean, uh, average difficulty is 10. Better than average. <laughs> So, so I, just, I, I don't because I, I don't know exactly like what these guys like what their tactics are right like I I can predict the tactics of of uh, you know enemy goal or orcs or something like that but these guys are a little sketchier right I'm just realizing that our party is not sneaky enough to get Colville screwed that's true that's true that's you have the to be one you have to be have going for that's it. in fact <laughs> that that's how the Colville screw starts is a certain party, and there was only a handful of these in my history as a dungeon master, a certain party goes, we're all pretty fucking stealthy. Can we just sneak our way through this dungeon? And it's like, and players get real excited by that opportunity. Because obviously it's like, holy shit, we'd be like commandos. You know, we're like Delta Force. Yeah. But that means that like, you better fucking roll well and and do it consistently. We gotta do it yeah. in reverse. We gotta we gotta bring them all to us. Just well, like I have, a lot uh, of noise. Tom, I have messaged you privately. Yeah. So one thing that I do know is that the way that this tower is built with that bridge over the moat and stuff, that is the only entrance or exit. It's the only way into or out of that tower is across that bridge. Do you think that they're likely to take away the bridge if they if the alarm is raised? I don't think it's a drawbridge. Doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks like the, the gold. The gold don't usually build drawbridges. That's kind of more of a human thing, or you know, what, civilized what's the human bridge thing. Made of? Is it it's wood. wood it's, it's wood. It, it looks like, um, or, or Zoga would tell. You. Like Zoga's people don't really build structures like this anymore, um, but they're all over the place, and it's uh, a, just a big wooden plank um, that you can walk on. It's big enough to support several people, and if there's a battle or a problem, they just knock it over. Or they pull it up. They will pull it up into the into the tower, so you can't get in. And then they, they oh, so it is a drawbridge. 
Well, it's not. It's not, not, a, not a No, no, no. It's not like a. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a, like a. Choo, 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 choo. It doesn't have like chains like, going down to it and right. a mechanism to pull it up. But, but they any, can any, remove yeah, the any any sufficiently strong people could just grab it and pull it into the tower. And then it could the be idea withdrawn. is withdrawn. Yeah, it could be. Yes. It could be withdrawn right. either way. By the way, correct. Yeah. Um, right. It could be. Pulled. So then you could stick it in, or you could pull it out. Oh no. Um, so there is the danger that if the alarm is raised, they might just take away the bridge and then we can't attack. We can't assault effectively. Well, unless you can fly or, or climb. Does it seem well, like we have exactly one jump. party member who can fly. <laughs> Does it seem like that's something that if you were sufficiently stealthy and strong, that you could grab the other end of it and pull it out and keep them stuck in there? Sure. I think we want to clear mouth, though, because it's probably where we want to stick the villagers. I mean, they'd be safe here, it seems. It'd be really funny, though, if we just <laughs> left them in the tower to starve, took out all the scouting parties, and found somewhere else to keep the villagers. Oh my god. <laughs> like, you I guys really, all just stay there. I don't really get the impression that, that, like, these hobgoblins are ones to, like, to, like, hide and wait us out, right? I, I feel like if they see us skirmishing outside of this tower, they're just going to send... They're going to send... M- more reinforcements out. Okay, so you that it's more aggressive than that. Well, worst case scenario, Co can probably jump the moat and I could send Madame Crisco with him. Yeah, there you go. The the main problem I'm feeling is the archers. They're three stories up across yeah. the other side of the moat and probably can shoot very far. That's and true. Four I mean, of them the... means that we're just oh. gonna get pelted as we run up to the fortress. Well I mean I gotta Question. My ranged attacks could hit them, but then I'd be out in the open. For the location of the archers, you said that they are. Wait, are they on the second or the third? They're on uh, the second floor. floor of the tower, which is second. Quite high up from where you folks are right now. The tower is three so stories I'm gonna tall. Move my... There's a ground floor, second floor, third floor. Theoretically, we can get two party members plus Madame Crisco into the tower. So we could try to take the tower and these guys at the same time, honestly. Well, hang on. This patrol is like just coming around the corner. As mm-hmm. soon as we come out of this bush, the five goblins are going to see us. Well, yeah, you're going to have to deal with these five goblins. Like right now, you we are out of combat talking right. about talking about your uh, strategic options Bullet. for the future. <laughs> yeah. But um, right. in, the short, term, in the short term, you have yeah. to figure out what to do with these fucking goblins that are on their way. And who knows what might happen when we start fighting. The archers might come down. They might stay out there. I don't know. They might kill other people. They might we wait along. until the hobgoblins are in the shadow of this building and then beat the shit out of them. Exactly. <laughs> so behind, I agree with you. Behind this building here, we wait for them to come round and then we come out of this bush. So we get a surprise attack, maybe, and we give them a good kicking. <laughs> then, yeah. then we can go, then we can go and, then we can go and clear the tower out. Could you like put yeah. your creepy ghost hand there or something to draw it over there? <laughs> um, it takes me like ten minutes to summon the creepy yeah, ghost okay, hand. Well. But also, the creepy ghost the hand is about off. is an oracular device. It's not a. It's not like it's not like major. But it's a creepy ghost hand. No, no it true. wouldn't do anything. Yeah. Just be there <laughs> as a visual yeah. element. Yeah. That's abusing. That's abusing your link with your the your uh, ancestors. Okay, well, I probably shouldn't do that, then. but That's also it would take time to do. It's your ancestor. Um, <laughs> who needs him, right? Um, only me. Yeah, I mean, I reckon we pick a fight with these five. See how that goes. If the alarm gets raised, we know we can get at least three people over the gap. Yep. One of those people being an angel of fire. Yeah, for the... Okay, so we're dealing with this patrol that's coming right now. Do we want to try and hold off from, like, fighting the entire, like, stronghold that's going to rush out if they hear us fighting out here? Um, Because I can use, like, my sling shot to maybe fire something off further away that might get their attention, and then we can go meet them down there and, like, attack them maybe a little further away? I don't really know if it's going to help much. Like, I put, like, a little square roughly about, like, where I could, like, shoot something to or I can, like, you know, as long as it's not more than 10 away from me. I don't know what you guys think. Or should we just, like, go at them? I don't know. But if we're flying here, 
right here, here, right? Are we hit? We would be. This seems like a building here, and then yeah, it's a wall. ruined guard tower. And so, or not not a guard tower. It's a ruined guardhouse. I don't think the archers can see us that well. No, no, right. I don't think so. So they if they, really. if we wait for these five to come round, and then we jump them, we've got we've got to sneak on them. We might take them out quicker than we think. Oh, like if we just stay here and wait for them yeah. to come. Yep, this we way. don't move. Then they kept round here. We're like, as soon, as soon as they get here, we like, right, get them. We go blammo. Yeah, blammo. Yeah. I like it. Okay, uh, a razor mode. Does that work? Oh no! Oh, oh yeah! All right, there you go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> good. King of <laughs> the old art king there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> how, do I, how do I get off? Is that back to? Oh no. Yeah, go to the drawing and then go exit drawing mode. Uh, I think I did. Oh, oh I'm on a razor. Uh, mode. That's cool, Bill. <laughs> oh. Movement okay. speed. So is five, right? Okay. So shall we just go ahead and attack this? Why don't you guys we're roll gonna, initiative? We're gonna wait. We're waiting for him to come round. Why That's don't definite... you roll initiative? Okay, okay. we're waiting for him to come round. <sighs> oh, it didn't do it. Oh, there you go. No, it's Damn, Co. Oh, that's because I didn't do it properly. Go. Okay. No one can hear us. Where there's a whip, whoops, there's a way. Where there's a whip, whoops, there's a way. Oh, and. No. Oops, sorry. Hang on. There we go. Get him. All right, uh, Co. Mm. There's a bunch of fucking blood skull monkey fuckers. Right on the other side of your, on the side of this bush, and they are. Damn it! They were next. They are grumbling and uh, complaining in hobgoblin. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Dang. Am I still allowed to move within the bush before? Sure. Because starting yeah, no uh, here would be much better for me. Sure. They okay. don't seem well, to be then, like. Uh, they don't seem to be. What's the word I'm looking for? They're not moving with um, a lot of purpose. They don't seem to be. Okay, really... so we're gonna we're we're busting out and we're gonna beat these 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 hobgoblins up. We're agreeing it right there, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do my Eternal Mountain movement technique. I clicked it, nothing happened. Already exists. Oh, okay. So I gain resistance <laughs> to all damage equal to my strength modifier until the end of the next turn. In addition, I shift two squares. So one, two. Then I would like to bust out my eternal mountain. Eternal mountain. Yeah. But I just kind of like come out of the, the bush like this stone man and uh, reach out with my graying fists and attack these three. One. Four. Two, one. Ten. Miss, miss. Automatic miss. Oh. Wait, did you hit any of them? Nope. You didn't hit any of them. I think. I think oh no. I didn't hit any of them? Nope. Automatic miss, miss, miss. On the 17 as well? Well, hang on. Yeah. Man. Hang on a minute. Grunts. Oh, that's because it's attacking <laughs> fortitude. Let's see. What's their fort? <laughs> yep, it misses. 100%. 17 three. if you're attacking if you're attacking their fortitude which you are then you need to roll better than 17 shit and i don't get I any don't like surprise right. or anything yeah sure you can get you can give you'll give you plus two so uh i mean i hit one of them yeah uh let's see uh, it means that you would have hit uh the number one guy okay let me untarget these two <laughs> that guy dies Wow. Oh, that guy dies. Yep. Oh. Okay. That's good that I hit one because then I can then I can flurry on this one. Yes. And that's just automatic, right? Yes. It's if I hit someone, I can flurry, and then if I hit a different person, it does okay. the bigger flurry. Also dead. Co is just a. 
like, so oh, you missed God. everyone, and still two people died. Well, he, he uh, I didn't give him a bonus for a surprise. And that, that, that bonus okay. killed one of them. Thank you. Merciful chance. Go, go, go. Oh, shit, they're oh. going to start screaming and stuff. Is Not if you kill them all first. Yeah, we got to kill them I mean, all around one. I used my action point, though, y'all. <laughs> the evil laughter. I'm trying to pass my turn, but it, it's not doing anything. But what happens when you press the next turn button? Nothing. I don't think it's on. Oh, because we don't have. Yeah, all, correct. But... You're right. We don't. So oh. now, now you can stick. You're right. I'm sorry. I had not begun. Right, if you want to give me another turn, I'm I had not begun one. the combat. I give my turn to Co. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, right. We just keep going away. Um, Is this not considered a surprise round? Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. Yes. So these guys ha don't, don't. I don't. These guys don't get to act yet. So Vanazor, go for it. All right. Mm, yes. It's a good thing. Good thing, good thing. I thought of that. <laughs> you don't want to be there. All right. Why not? Wait. Do you want to move one more to the left, though, yeah. OD, so you can get all of them? Yeah. Why wouldn't you oh, be yeah. there? Sorry. Yeah, wait, I didn't want to hit Cove. I think it just only hits enemies. Well, what does it say? Let's see. Each each enemy in yeah. burst that you can see. Yeah. yeah. It's a dream. Nice. Cool. So let's target a dream. one. Yeah, two, well, mine just hit three. everyone. Here we go. Uh, now we see I'm, whether or not you're pretty salty using, enough. I'm using <laughs> my uh, great cleave power. I mean, it's a good cleave, but is it a great cleave? 19, yeah, 19, good. 17. It is a great cleave. <laughs> the greatest of cleaves. And here's a little bit well of damage. Cleaved. Well cloven. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> All this time we spent strategizing. <laughs> Basically minimum wage workers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now that's, they didn't get a that's pretty brutal. This. I mean, these guys depend on tips to make a living and you guys just fucking <laughs> smoke. Now them. that was an encounter. That's and why they're so grumbling. That's the end of the encounter, right? I mean, isn't this whole thing kind of one big encounter? Well, I don't know. That just mm. felt like an encounter. Mm. 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 <laughs> here's here's the question: Are we doing the switcheroo? Mm. Are we gonna are we gonna don their tattered hobgoblin attire and try and grumble our way in as a phalanx of five? Try to I mean, replicate how they were walking. Catch them unawares. <laughs> yeah. These grunts seem kind of small. How many hobgoblins wear crop tops? <laughs> <laughs> that does bring up a good point. <laughs> well, I wonder me. Orin, could you do me a favor? <laughs> Orin, could you do me a favor? What? Could you make a uh, perception check? Alrighty, let's see. Publicly or privately? Well, publicly is fine. You My hear eyes. you hear something in this direction. Ears. It just Some sounds like man, it sounds hiding. like uh, you have a you have a line of bearing. You don't know exactly where what the sound is coming from, but it sounds vaguely familiar. Like more grumbling or grumbling? No, not really grumbling. No. I got a twenty-seven. What do I hear? You hear like a clicky clacky sound. Like a scorion? Uh, yeah, kind of like the sound you heard the when the when the scorpion dogs were acting and moving before. Kind of like sounded like a uh, the chitinous legs of a scorpion dog hitting the ground. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Does it sound like it's getting closer? Um. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Then I will try to. I'll, I'll whisper in motion to the. Uh, to the two dudes out there, where I'm just like, they're little, they're, they're, they're scorpion dogs are, are oh, I forgot. coming I this way. They must have heard something. Stand by. Hang on. In a bush. Mm. Is this a wall or is it just raised up? It's a escarpment. It's a natural formation, but it's basically, a, it acts like a wall. So does that mean if the scorpions are coming over the wall? Can they drop down to they, our side? They or? Could, yeah. I mean, if they, um, let me go into actually drawing mode, like, um, 
the path in this direction is smooth, but uh, a steady incline. But mm-hmm. the path in this direction would be like a drop off. That's like 12 feet from it's 12 feet from here, from here to here. And do I have like a rough? Can I can I uh, tell like how many it sounds like? Does it sound like a nah, lot? No, nah. it doesn't sound like a lot, actually. No. So that's like a retaining wall, not like a wall wall. Um, it's right. it's not a it's it, no one built it. It is a naturally occurring formation. Okay. It is made of stone, and it is um, it's just been exposed. Okay. I'm trying to think about what to do. Uh, I do think it's probably worth telling, saying like, hey, get back in, like, hide back in the bushes. Like, the scorpion things are, like, they're, they're coming up closer to the wall. Up close so, to the wall. Yeah. That's in the bush, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I, I think now we're just going to wait a second to see if the scorpions come over the wall or something. Are we hiding? Are we hidden? You see, oh, there he is. You see a uh, another patrol, and it's uh, seems to be walking in this direction. Okay. Where are they off to? Hmm? Is do I also do? Is the once they get up, that once I was they get about here, then they're no longer in line of sight. And do I still hear... Um, yeah, it gets louder, and then you see it's a dude walking his scorpion dogs, and the clicky-clacky gets louder as they get toward you. And I mean, it is that time of night. And then it starts <laughs> to fade away. So there's no more clicky-clacky from scorpion here. Dog. Yeah, you hear it kind of going click 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 getting quieter and quieter until it goes away. This might be a good place to stop. It is midnight. That's true. <gasps> mm, mm-hmm. It is. Yeah, and then you guys, can, could... you guys can talk and plan about it. So you folks are, you guys have a good plan. You, the, if you can clear this tower out, you'll definitely have a safe place to park those humans. That was that was kind of telling the way we dispatched with those five. I mean, I, like we just for like, yeah. what I mean, they were, they were tired and coming back from patrol, right? Right, but even so, it was like... Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. very handily dispatched. Could I mean, we scale they have the wall a leader and here. hide in these trees? They have a leader good way to move forward we've, we've got like some some foliage and stuff that would keep us uh we could get closer to the entrance and still have cover from those archers probably yeah and rather than coming through the gate yeah for the guy who walked past with the scorpions did he look like the uh another beast master yeah did he clean up after his scorpion dog or does he just kind of leave it there you ha- you <laughs> haven't seen the scorpion dogs poo yet well, they're uh, evil yeah. so they definitely just leave it yeah, he didn't have a bag with him, though, right? Thanks for playing, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Okay. Uh, we only did one encounter, I realize, but there was a lot of discussion and planning, and likewise with the tower. Kind of classic. Awesome. We've done some combat. Classic D and D encounter. Big tower full of goblins. Gonna be good. Thank Love you so it. much for running. Oh no worries. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Yeah, this is lots yes. of fun. Thank you, young Matthew. <laughs>